We got Phoenix and Cyclops. It's time to get turbo. So today for our Beyblade show, did you really think we were going to end the year with the battle that I kind of did plan but I didn't know if I was going to launch it today? No! Today we are doing a Beyblade Burst Turbo review of Cyclops and Phoenix P4. So we got to thank a very special person, can't say who it is, but they're able to help us to actually uh, get not even just this, but a bit more. You'll see more teasers on the community tab as time goes by. So we have the base. We don't really have the packaging, however, I'll briefly go over everything so we get an idea of how uh, this awesome Turbo product is. So, here we have uh, the packaging right there. We weren't able to actually get a uh, physical packaging, however, we did print out the image and cut it out so at least that's close <laughs> enough. So, this is a two-pack that comes with Phoenix B4, also known as Revive Phoenix, and Cyclops C4. This comes with one bait that'll be appearing in the anime and the other that is a Hasbro exclusive. Phoenix is appearing in the anime, the other one is a Hasbro exclusive Cyclops. So the parts for Cyclops C4 is five, and then after Fugal Slingshock. And for Phoenix P4, it comes with D57, TD13 Slingshock, which is uh, 10 in friction uh, Slingshock. So really cool. Again, it is pretty exciting. So we'll go over the gimmicks and everything. It's very interesting, and I know there's been a lot of questions surrounding this Phoenix Bay, and we're gonna be answering this in this video. So we're starting off with Cyclops C4, and something that's actually pretty hilarious is the pairing of the two. It's Cyclops and Phoenix, which I don't know if it's intentional or not, but that's sort of like the X-Men with Jean Grey being the Phoenix, and obviously Cyclops, and the connection between the two, and also the Dark Phoenix, which uh, I won't get too into that until the anime actually gets there, but I thought that was pretty cool for the pairing. So. Cyclops C4 is very interesting for the fact that it reminds me very much of Gaion uh, G2 if it was like a turbo version of it, like an actual evolution. So you can see the C right there in the middle is for Cyclops, you see the I right there. So I believe uh, Cyclops C4, since we did do a video on this before showing it in the app, it's like sort of like a giant ogre and it shoots out like a little laser beam. Really cool for the design. I'm not too sure on how good this uh, bay is going to be. Obviously, this is a stamina type bay. And so the QR code right at the end. Uh, we have the five disc. Nothing special there. We have Fugal Slingshock. So Batramus uh, B4, which was just really B2. Uh, that was the only other time we saw Fugal Slingshock. This is now the second time. So the thing is, this time with my uh, Fugal that I have for Cyclops, actually um, decently tight. The other one with Petromoth, it was uh, pretty weak. That was the same issue that I did have with uh, Kerbius and uh, I think, it was, what was the other one? Istress that I both had survived. It was the survive on, I believe it was Istress. That was uh, the gimmick for the Slingshock. It wasn't so loose, but for Kerbius, it was really loose. So these gimmicks from these uh, Slingshock bays, sometimes it's, um, Sometimes it's not too loose, sometimes it's pretty loose, and it really does vary. I think this bay does look cool. It is compatible with a level chip, but first, QR code if you want to scan it. There you go. Let's see it with a level chip real quick. Yeah, it's a little hard actually to get a level chip on here, because look, it's way bigger than the one that we have, so I'm not too sure if Cyclops is going to get a custom one. Yeah, it's way big for the actual one. Could just be maybe for a Hasbro, if they ever do release a Hasbro level chip, it'll be way different, but for right now, let's see how tight this one's gonna be. So, bam, looks nice. So for how tight, eh, it's kind of weird actually with this one. I don't know, if I were to give this out of 10 for how tight, uh, seven, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, I'm not too sure on this. So, Battle Ring Mode, like I said, this is what Battle Ring Mode looks like. Then after Slingshock Mode is where it gets really flat. So, Cyclops looks pretty interesting. It's a stamina type bait. I don't really know how viable it's going to be. I think it might be good under a different combination, but uh, for the regular stock that it has, eh. But uh, let's check uh, Phoenix now, now for one of the most anticipated Turbo Bays of 2018 before this year ends. Phoenix P4, aka Revive Phoenix. Now, yes, 
we're going to answer the question because I was going to get upset if it wasn't. The armor can come off. Yes, it can come off. And that is really cool. I do like the transparency on this. I will compare it to the TT in a moment. 10. So the really disappointing thing for this Phoenix. So I'm all right with the no metal on the turbo base, right? That's fun. But uh, this is uh, supposed to be friction slingshot. It's kind of like, why? So I'm gonna actually, so this is the TT version of Revive Phoenix, right? So the actual friction looks like this, and you can see way different from what we got for Hasbro, and it has a palm material on it, and it's supposed to be pretty useful for this bay. It makes it a pretty nice defense type bay. But uh, for the Hasbro version, it's just all plastic, and the mold doesn't even really match how friction would look like, so I have to be fair when I say that. That's a bit silly. So this is in battle ring mode, so the gimmick for this you literally just slide it to the side and then it becomes flat. So it is a little bit weird. It doesn't even have the real shape of friction. So that's a little bit weird. It's just sort of like its own independent thing. So regardless, if you were to ever uh, see this two pack in stores, I still say it's worth it for the Phoenix. I will be testing it out and comparing it. But first, the Phoenix QR code, if you want to scan it, there you go. So let's first show it with a level chip. And I'll be putting this on right now, the yellow one. Yeah, it fits on nicely. So it looks like with a level chip on it. So now, all together, it's pr pretty good slopes. Pretty good slopes. Looks like maybe like an eight or a nine. Not bad. Like really, really decent. So how this gimmick's gonna work for this bay, since we already explained how the friction works. So in battle, you have a chance of bursting this bay, but however, the gimmick with this one is in the middle of the battle, the armor can come off. And that armor can help assist you by slowing down your opponent. It kind of hits it. You're supposed to keep the armor in the battle the whole time. And that's what makes this bay pretty good and a pretty good threat to be reckoned with. So that is nice. So we're gonna get the scale. Yep. And we're gonna be comparing uh, the weight for everything. So, so we're gonna be comparing everything now. So let's see the weight for the Takara Tommy Revive Armor. So the weight for that is, I would say, 9 grams. Now let's do the Hasbro one. Let's see if it's actually going to be half. It is 4. So it is legitimately half. Yeah, it does have, uh, I believe actually it's um, on the Revive Armor, it's Zinc Alloy that's uh, actually on here. With this one, it's just uh, metallic paint. Yeah. <laughs> so it also is missing some stickers where uh, the armor did actually have some. So. If you want to, if you're worried about the very small things that don't really matter too much, there you go. So now let's put um, the TT layer there without any armor. 15, okay. Now let us put Phoenix Hasbro. That is about eh, eight. So it's almost it's almost half for everything. So what I want to do now, I want to put on the armor on this one, and we're going to compare it with everything for it. So that is about I would say 24. 24 grams, I would say. The Hasbro one, let's see. It is 12, it is half. And even though this doesn't really matter too much, I just wanna see the friction. I wanna see how much of a difference it is. So with the Friction TT, it's six, we'll go with six. For Hasbro, it is six. So they kept the same weights on the performance tip at least, but uh, really silly, the discs are obviously always gonna be the same weight since they can't alter that. You want to see the disc, if you're worrying about the disc or anything like that, 24, 10, again, 24, 20. Maybe just round it off. Maybe I just took it off too quickly, whatever. It's like exactly the same. So overall for Phoenix, there's a lot going for it. Again, some negatives I'm going to say is going to be the fact that uh, friction is not what it's supposed to be. And if they want to keep the gimmicks, they can, but don't take away from the bait too much. One thing I'm super going to give Hasbro props for 100% is the fact that they did not screw up the Revive Armor gimmick and they at least kept that. Friction's a disappointment, but at the very least, if you're looking forward to this bay, it has decent slopes, comes with an okay Hasbro exclusive next to it, and you know, overall it's pretty decent. I mean, you get 10 too. 10's pretty good. And out of 10 for this whole 2 pack before we continue with everything, I would give this a, a good 8. That's pretty fair. For this, a good eight. For other stuff too, it's eh. 
Actually, you want to know what? Seven and a half. I don't like the friction too much. Seven and a half. But that's still for a turbo, uh, for a turbo packaging, for a turbo pack. That's pretty good. So what we're going to be doing now is some battles. We're going to be doing battles between these two. I'm going to make sure to switch the modes, and we're going to show off the gimmicks for everything. And at the end, I'll make sure to battle the TT Revive Phoenix, and we're going to see how good this day is. So here we have Cyclops C4. Uh, looks really sick. So we're doing two uh, test launches for both of them. One in their battle ring mode, which is what I have right now. Then after in their slingshot mode. Three, two, one, let it rip. So one is a stamina, which is uh, this one. The other one is a defense. So let us stop this bay. Let us now move fuel into its uh, slingshot mode. So three, two, one, and whip. And in slingshot mode, I feel like it could probably knock out a few bays. I just don't know how really sturdy the lair is, so we're gonna see in these battles. So let me stop this one. So that was Cyclops C4. It looks amazing when it spins. Now we have Revive Phoenix. Make sure you put on the armor correctly. I cannot stress this enough. Like the other one, you'd, you should hear, not really more of a clip, but you should hear like a little bit of a push sound when you actually put it in. If it's too loose, you didn't put in the armor correctly because if you don't put on the armor right, when you're launching it in the battle, it's gonna slip off and you're gonna like weaken the bay and you're gonna probably lose the whole match. So we have this in battle ring mode. Let us now do a test. So. Three, two, one, let it rip. I actually like how Phoenix looks in this stadium. That's nice. All right, let's stop you. So that was in battle ring mode, surprisingly. Was it? Oh, it is. All right, so let's see in slingshot mode. Okay, let's test it. I'm actually excited to see how this way is going to perform. Three, two, one, let it rip. Yeah, way more aggressive. I think, too... With Phoenix, if it's gonna be battling against some other bays, if it's gonna be hitting around the walls, the armor could come off a little bit quicker. So that could be pretty useful in battles. Maybe like uh, when it rides around the rails, it hits the side and the armor comes off and attacks the bay along with its own attack. So what we're gonna be doing now, let's first do a round in battle ring mode for both of the, uh, slingstock mode for both of these bays, then we'll do battle ring mode. So my bet's gonna be on Phoenix, but we're gonna, actually I'll launch Phoenix first since it is the tougher one. Three, two, one, let it There we go! And knocked out the armor! No! Alright, well... Now it's a different kind of match. That's kind of cool, though. The armor came off right away. Usually the armor on the TT one doesn't slip off as easy, but maybe it was just uh, the hits for the base. So, you can see what the armor comes off. It is supposed to stay in the stadium. If it knocks it out, don't throw it back in. If it stays in the stadium, you keep it in there. So now, let us do another round where it is in its uh, battling mode for both. So this time, Cyclops goes first, and Phoenix. We're going to see which one's tougher out of the two. Ooh, Phoenix doing some good hits. Oh, and the armor came off. Is it going to assist it, or? It's going to assist it. So it sort of did help it. Again, it does vary for the battle. I still think this Phoenix looks pretty sick. Again, like I said with Takara Tommy, other than the no metal part, they're not doing such a bad job with this uh, stuff. Except, uh, you know, maybe some performance tips could use a little bit more work. It is pretty interesting too, since I don't think I actually did the visual comparison. Since um, for Phoenix to Phoenix, this part's all yellow, but actually inside it's supposed to have metal. So it's very interesting. I think this was a creative choice. Instead of putting metallic paint, they put uh, yellow there. Maybe for the overall thing for the mold, just because since uh, there's two separate parts, one where it's the yellow for TT, then after the metal. So for Hasbro for the whole mold, I guess they kept it all yellow, and that's fine. It's better than kind of having like this sort of weird metallic paint that doesn't really match too much. It's not too bad, not too bad. We're doing a battle between the Takarotami and the Hasbro, two rounds, battle mode and slingshot mode, and I'll do full battles later on, but let's get started. All right. Takarotami, Hasbro. Are both the armors going to come off at the same time? Who's the tough- Oh, TT's out. Now Hasbro's out. <laughs> now they're battling with their armors out. Nice. Yeah, I didn't think Hasbro was going to win that one. Slopes didn't move, so that's good. TT, uh, sort of- No, not even one click. Alright, that's good, that's good. 
All right, so we're gonna do another round where I am. Oh, there wasn't a slingshot mode. All right, let's do battle ring mode then. Yeah, it's kind of weird because sometimes uh, the performance doesn't really change too much. And with this one too, other than the fact that friction gets really flat, it's already kind of flat itself. So it's kind of meh. It's like just double attack with Phoenix basically. So let us try that again. So let's do revive Phoenix. Hasbro Phoenix. So now without the slingshot mode, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I think Tommy's mean, jeez! Knocked off the armor. Doing a few hits, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, but this, I don't really think it's gonna be a big competition for it, but it is still pretty interesting. I was able to put up someone of a fight. Yeah, barely. I do think if the bay kept uh, the palm material on uh, the friction performance tip, even if it doesn't have uh, the zinc outline on the armor, Phoenix would actually be, I think it could have matched the TT version. Again, something I should say with a lot of these um, turbo bays is that even for the Takara Tommy side, there are times where they'll put metal in some places, but like, does the metal, other than the weight difference, doesn't really make any contact, so not gonna really assist the base too much. I mean, still, for a turbo two pack, for something that um, you would think would have a lot of nerfs and a lot of removed gimmicks, not too bad with this stuff. Now, since we showed both the QR codes, we tried to show off the best we could for this two pack, I'm gonna be having a pretty simple like goal, a thousand likes. And if we get a thousand likes, maybe you'll see something else, maybe you won't, I don't know. There's more to stay tuned for this. We're gonna do our best to do coverage on everything. And uh, stay tuned. Comment actually uh, which one you like more, Cyclops or uh, Phoenix. For me, it's going to be Phoenix, but uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, have an awesome day.